Hi, I have two quick activities for bunny and eggs today to share with you. Uh, one takes an egg carton, some plastic eggs, and some pictures of your arctic sounds or answers to questions. Uh, in therapy, what we do is we color the pictures after we name them all. So if we're practicing F, we'd say foot, fire. We'd practice, talk about how we make it. Then we would color them in, and while we're coloring, I nag the kids. So it would be something like, oh, what are you going to color blue? Oh, you're going to have a blue fish? Normally, I color my own sheet along beside them, or I add colors to theirs, and I'll be like, oh, I'm going to add some colors to your farm. And they might say no, and then I, maybe I'll even say the wrong word. Oh, I'm going to color her pace green. Not pace? Face. So we get a lot of practice while we color the sheet in and we cut them out and we hide the pictures in the plastic eggs. The eggs then go home for a homework activity and you get to keep the eggs forever as a family. So you have your Arctic sounds or your answers to your questions, a little different there, normally a worksheet with questions on it. I ask the questions, we answer them in practice, put them in the eggs, send it home, and then they get a game sheet that has the questions on that they can then answer at home. But that's a simple idea for you to do for home activity is go ahead and get plastic eggs. After Easter is a great time to stock up on these and then get lots of Arctic pictures or draw your own. And a second one that I like to do for, for eggs and bunnies is I like to give my kids some carrots. And then we talk about what animal likes carrots. And then we color in our carrots. I have different sets of carrots with words and simple pictures on them that I might pick for certain kids. Um, my language kids who are working on answering questions may get just random ones and then we talk about descriptors. What's yellow when you have to peel it before you eat it and then they have to find the banana. What do you write in? It has wheels and you have to buckle up in it. Car. And then my kids working on articulation will get ones that they have their artic sounds on them like here's some C's or some K's. C and K are tricky. And we'll talk about it. We'll practice. We'll color. We'll cut them out. And then what makes it really fun is they make a pair of headband bunny ears out of construction paper and then a headband that goes around and then they can go home and they can hide their carrots in their living room and they can hop around like a bunny to find them and get extra practice at home. Uh, for some of my kids who are really, really into the craft part, in addition to making our bunny ears on the headband, we might put our tick pictures of whatever sound we're practicing that day. We might just write letters all over the headband. And for my language kids, we'll just talk about what we're doing, colors and answering questions while we're coloring and what are we making and what do you use bunny ears for. So just two quick ideas. So we have our bunny ear headbands and our carrots. You can draw your own carrots up to do that, make lots of carrots, make big carrots. And then the plastic eggs in the egg cartons with your Arctic pictures in them. Two quick ideas that I did the last two weeks in speech, and I have some new activities coming up. Maybe I'll share. One that has frogs and frog tongues. It involves a lot of oral motor skills. Kind of going to be fun. But uh, have a great time. Bye.